you, baby. You're live. Are we square, Cody? I haven't gotten anything yet. Thank you for the pop-up. Look here. There's typically like a 30 second delay in this going live to it actually being live. Here we go. Yep, we're good. Welcome to Murphy's Diesel Live, yep. folks. Say good afternoon to Brian and Mr. Mike. What's up, Brian? Mike? Robert? Thanks for tuning in. Robert? Peter? Tootie? Tootie? It's always nice to see you. Randy? Randy? Matthew? Matthew? DL? What's up, guys? So, uh, little update on Hellboy. Um, we found out what was wrong with Hellboy. So, one of the new sensors in the transmission was bad, and it was put in the transmission into limp mode turbine sensor. So, got that figured out, got it fixed. So, Hellboy's ready to go, folks. Small things. Uh, we're working on air suspension in the back right now, but you want to go show everybody? Yeah, we can. We got a hundred and seven people that come on, folks. In. Let's go check out Hellboy. Yeah? What you figure out? Um, I think we're going to redo our headlight setup too, so we're working on that right now too. Uh, so the problem with the headlights is they sit right there. When you turn them on, they don't point at the road, they point out here and down. There's no adjustment. So these are razor headlights out of a uh, like a 2020 Razor or 2021, I don't remember. But so I think we're gonna do something different. I think we might throw some KCs in there. Well, look who it is. It's T Money. Hey guys. And Mad Dog Maddie. And Mad Dog. Mad Dog and T Money. What are y'all doing? I was trying to get coffee, but the coffee shop was closed. So I'm thinking maybe throwing a couple of these babies in there, huh? Maybe three of them. Like that, and then you could angle them wherever you want. We'll build a bucket. Point them in the direction we want. Maybe a third. Maybe three of them. I think three. That'd be pretty bright, huh? Three looks good. Um, Salt Air Living KC Highlights is a sponsor, actually. They already. That's why we got all this KC Highlights <laughs> stuff here. So. Ricky, uh, Jeremiah wants to know. If Rick or Rick. Rick? Jeremiah wants to know if this is the same Dodge that pulled the bus. Yes. Yeah, that was that was pre fifty eights. Jeremiah uh, did a pretty good job back then, but uh, you know. Um, you know who built this? The haters built this. So uh, they're all hating on my truck, so. Mark said what who you needs get. headlights. Just put De Niro on the front bumper holding Hold, spotlight. Holding some flashlights. <laughs> Speaking of De Niro, where is he? That's a good question. Let me give him a ring. Make sure he knows he's on live television. Should I FaceTime Yeah. Here, stand on the side of the just He's scared. Everybody wish Hot Rod to get well. Uh, Hot Rod uh, isn't doing so hot, so uh, that's why he's not in the live today. So uh, he's not feeling too hot. He's scared. I'm telling you. 
Are we going to have our own feed of the record games or will they have to watch Matt's channel? Are we going to have a live feed of the record games? Mm -hmm. I don't uh, know because we're not allowed to film anything. Well, we are, but we're not allowed to put anything out until after the games. Yeah. So. And they're asking everybody to do that, so. Uh, I don't know. Matt's off road would probably be the only one doing a live feed. Yeah. If anybody's doing a live feed. What kind of power is it making? Um, I think we're putting out somewhere around 800. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, we haven't put it on a dyno, but. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000 horsepower, folks. Just like Black Betty. <laughs> Robert asked if you're ever going to come back up to the Great White North Dakota wasteland. He has a stake with your name on it. Do I know you, Robert? <laughs> how do you how do you know my past? Uh, I don't, we only talk about it every. Do live. we? Do we talk about it? Yeah. Oh. Um, do I I tell the story of my oil field days a lot? Probably too much. No. Have you ever heard it, T Money? Oh, of course. Do you like that? That's some bright there light. Where were you last night? Uh, I don't, you never know, Robert. I might. I just might. I don't know. You never know. We've got if, a lot of people from East Tennessee on here today. What's up, East Tennessee? That's where I'm from. Jeremiah wants to know what kind of motor add-ons you got. Um, so we have uh, 120 horse injectors. We got a industrial injection stroker pump on it, 12 millimeter. Um, some tuning, uh, compound turbos, fast fuel system. Mm. I think that's about it. Do you like this? Nitrous oxide. Is this your favorite? Does it make you feel like a queen? I'm not. I'm not into it. <laughs> Let me just turn that down for you. Did you get a hold of De Niro? Give him a, sh no. give him a shout out. There you give him a holler again. I texted him too. Why don't you take it all the way down and angle it up a little bit? Yes, Ronnie. Hot Rod and um, Kayla had the baby. They're doing great. What axles are you running? It is an automatic or standard. Uh, we're running Axle Tech 4000s, and it is got an Allison transmission in it. Uh, it had an Ison in it, and we went to an Allison. So it's got an Allison 1000 built Allison. Uh, yes, Judy, I'm really from East Tennessee. All my family is from like the Johnson City area. Most of my family still lives back there. On my mom's side, anyway. Uh, yes, we still have snow. We have a whole bunch of snow up in like the Williams and Flagstaff area. Ashford, not so much. Everything, Ashford's lower elevation. It sits like around like I think 5,400 feet. So not much snow left in Ashford. What's all these fancy buttons for? Huh? What are all these fancy buttons for? Oh, to make stuff go. Get her on down the road, you know what I mean? Oh, I feel you. You know what I'm saying, dog? I get ya. <laughs> well, she's holding her on the phone for me. Uh, is it out of limp mode yet, Wrecker Rick? Uh, yes, it's out of limp mode. So, we had a bad turbine sensor on the transmission. Brand new sensor, went Where bad. Are you coming? I told you I wasn't. Nuh-uh. That's not what you said. said you said you'd let us know. All right, folks. So, the folks uh, are waiting. De Niro is scared of T-Money. 
T Money challenged De Niro mm -hmm. to a truck pull, and De Niro is got no balls. <laughs> He's scared. Are you so. scared? Oh, yeah. Then why are you not coming? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Because why? My mom just got there. Bring your mom too. And I have Hazel. Oh, Hazel would love it. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> No balls. What? I was asking Hazel if she wants to go do the truck. She does. She knows that her sister has bigger balls in her front. How much snow did you get this time around whenever you blew the track? Uh, we had like 24 inches. Something like that. Uh, you know, in the track, um, I think those tracks are older than what uh, they led on to believe uh, because I think they're they're a little bit dry rotted the rubber on them so the the actual track started separating from from the belt so I don't think it's you know I, I wouldn't say it's Matt tracks fault I wouldn't say it's my fault you know uh, I just think they're older tracks so uh, we got but we got a new one coming it'll be here Monday and we'll be back at it so Kentucky Bluegrass said that you need to get a new hat. Uh, pass that hat for a new one. Wrecker Rick, you shouldn't have taken it away from Rowdy. This isn't Rowdy's hat. Rowdy Wheeler wears uh, a four inch brim and like a four and a half crown. So. You know Rowdy Wheeler. Rowdy that. Wheeler couldn't you know afford this hat. Huh? So you know him on that personal level level? I know what he asked a couple times if Hellboy's nuts are still swinging in the breeze. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course they're still swinging in the breeze. Peter would like to know if we're going to see any big rig recovery soon. Probably we just, not. We just did we're a whole out, bunch of We're big getting rig out of the recovery. business, Peter. We're not we're going we're getting away from big rig recoveries. We're doing off-road only. No, I'm just kidding, Peter. Um, Saturday. We, we, uh, yeah, we, we have some, you, you got one coming out Saturday? The pile up. The um, one that come off the overpass? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, Saturday. so we have one coming, coming up Saturday. It's just, all it is, is just a truck that went off an overpass. Nothing crazy. Um, and, uh, and the pile up that Mrs. Wrecker Rick got caught up in. Mrs. Wrecker Rick actually experienced the pile up the other day firsthand. Luckily, she's a truck driving son of a bitch. <laughs> and she got out of the way and uh, got out of there without a scratch. So Thank you for opening that. You're welcome. Um, hey, Mad Dog, how about grabbing me a Topo, Topo Chico, Chico huh? over there? What, really? That whole wall is full of them. Um, Rainwater Cold said you can't talk about another man's hat like that. It's like trying to touch or talk about another man's wine. Thank you, Rainwater Cold. That's exactly right, Kentucky Bluegrass. <laughs> uh, Terry Argo said, I see 100,000 subs coming after the games. I did enjoy the snow video. Let's keep our fingers crossed, Terry Argo. Thanks for being a loyal sub, Terry Argo. Fred wants to know where are we from? Where do we have locations at? <laughs> do what? Fred wants to know where we're from and where we have locations at. Uh, I'm from right here, born and raised in Ash Fork, Arizona. My wife is from Tennessee. Uh, Crowbar is born and raised right here. Um, but also uh, Albuquerque, his, New Mexico. Did his half uh, in Dakota, though? T Money, <laughs> born and raised right here in the Ash Fork area. Mad Dog, born and raised right here in the Ash Fork area. Uh, we got three locations Ash Fork, Flagstaff, and Holbrook. Rick says someone needs a haircut for the trap falling off. Cold as that cut. For real. Who's uh, getting that? I don't, I don't know. So, I feel like. Maybe I should get myself a cul-de-sac cut on that one. Uh, uh, because for the fact that... What, you don't like that? 
I will love you no Look matter what big, happens thick, to your beautiful hair, babe. Head of hair. So, um, because I should have retorqued him. I should have retorqued him after we started driving on it. Uh, so I can't say that that it's totally somebody else's fault. I would say it's probably my fault more than anybody. So, um, I guess next video you're going to see me with a cold sack cut. Um, Larry asked Axel Tech TK. Cold sack cut for the record games. Huh? <laughs> Axel Tech TK? Uh, yeah, Axel Tech T600 T case. Mm hmm. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the the T case that's in there is it's a I think it's a seventy thirty split. Um, it's like a seventy two twenty eight split. So when you're when you put it into two wheel, put it in high range two two wheel, disengage the front. Um, you're putting seventy percent to the back, thirty percent to the front. Uh, or 80, 20, whatever the split is, and so it's all it's it's all wheel drive. So I don't like that because I wanted to be able to select so you could do front wheel digs and stuff like that, and and rear wheel digs and have four wheel steer. But uh, I opted for the T600 because it's the only thing that's going to hold up, I think, to the horsepower and to the the tire size. Waco Kid said it's been proven that a hat and beard like that adds a thousand horsepower to all Ram pickups. <laughs> That's why uh, we're sitting at 1800 horse, folks. Because of my hat and beard. What about these suspenders, Waco Kid? Huh? <laughs> Does that add another 250 horse? I think everyone needs a pair of those in their life. Suspenders? Record rig suspenders. Someone's asking what you're sipping on. Topo Chico, folks. It's like mineral water. With, with a, a twist of lime. Twist of lime. <laughs> uh, Silverado Scott said those tracks look like they were worth the money. Uh, I would say so, Silverado Scott. Um, they did pretty good. Uh, they haven't paid for themselves yet, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it costing more money. No. Yeah, they just cost me another thirty-five hundred bucks. That's loud. Um, is De Niro T Money's boyfriend? De Niro. <laughs> uh, no, De Niro T Money's cousin. <laughs> They're cousins. My cousin, guys. They're De Niro's cousins. <laughs> Did Hellboy get to play in the snow the other day? Oh yeah. Did Hellboy? Yeah. No. Uh, we haven't really gotten Hellboy out yet, so. Did you ever make a wrong turn in Albuquerque? Oh wait, you guys are asking each other that question. My bad, Mark. <laughs> I just saw that. Uh, do you video from all your locations or just where you're based out of? We mainly video from Ashport because Hellboy's down here. Our 75 ton rotator war machine is down here. Um, this is where most of you know our action happens. We do go, well not we, Rick or Rick goes to the Flagstaff and Holbrook locations when necessary and you know, films. What are we humping about? Wonder why these aren't. Why they're not even now? We got both airbags open. Um, Jesse Pitt said maybe a cul-de-sac beard cut. <laughs> I've had one of those before. <laughs> Just a bot right here. Just my sideburns grows into my mustache. Uh, Rick, yes, it Yes, Rick, those are the tracks that Casey gave Rick or Rick the lead on. Those are the tracks that we currently have on Black Betty that we posted a video about yesterday. 
Am I missing something here? That rope just looks massive, just laying there on <laughs> the entire balancing thing. Cowboys, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Cowboys, new kinetic rope, folks. Just massive. <laughs> Whoa, kind of wow. cowboy. Any chance of us getting a complete start to finish of Axle Surgeon? Um, I don't know. I'd have to check with the axle surgeon. I don't know if they'd like that very much. I'm hurting my ears. <laughs> if you guys are watching. I'll tell you after the air compressor shuts up. Got that air compressor. games themselves we are going to be in the wrecker pools which is like a separate event at the same location that they're having on the 14th and 15th it's the wrecker pools it'll be after the off-road games we're only going to do one day we just don't know which day we're going to get Check out the flex on Hellboy just sitting there. Yeah. Matthew would like to know that if he gets into deep trouble in San Juan Mountains in Colorado, would you travel that far if no one else would? Absolutely. What kind of vehicle? Well, it doesn't matter, yes, but I'm just curious what kind of vehicle. I mean, yeah, I'd love to go to the San Juan Mountains. Go, go, go water it up right now. We'll load up right now. I'll, Hellboy. Hellboy's ready to do a recovery. I mean, it's got a few little things. Like we got our, uh, see down there, folks, that cable underneath there? Um, that's our self-centering rear steer. We got that going. We got, I got my uh, rear winch mounted in there. I got my uh, brackets for my sling mounted. Uh, throwing a shackle mount right there. Uh, Hellboy's ready to party, folks. Hi, Anthony from North Korea. Are you almost going to yet? Uh, almost, not quite. Just waiting on one more part for that. Uh, where does the music in your videos come from? Brian asks, is it exclusive to you your channel? You have to ask Crowbar. Crowbar? Cody's our editor. Soundstripe. Soundstripe. Is it exclusive to our channel? No. Uh, you know who... who uh, another channel that I come across the other day is uh, Rad, Rudy's Adventure 
Mm-hmm. Same one going to the off road adventure, or whatever. Uh, Matt Matt's off roads son. Uh, he's got a, he's got the same music in his videos. Um, somebody um, else had it the other day too. I I, uh, I don't remember who though. J and T Leather said it was great to see you guys on the freeway yesterday. And are you going to be doing Wednesday lives as well? No, just Sunday. We're gonna move to Sunday. We're moving for a to while. Sunday. Well, we're trying Sunday. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Check out the front. Check out the travel in the front of Hellboy. While we're walking around in the front of Hellboy, if you guys are watching, you know, like this video. You know, I think there's a, like a little heart button on the live. So you have to hit the little heart button to like the lives, I believe it is. Don't forget to drop a comment. I think, uh... Look at that. Oh, there we go. It's not even traveled all the way up. But Lemon yeah, if there's a thumbs up sign, hit the yeah. thumbs up, but I'm pretty sure it's like yeah, a hard but I don't, I don't know. I don't get on a bunch of lives. Look how much travel it's got. Do you have any questions for that? I can't read it though. Uh is Nikki the mother of T Money? Uh, I'm the stepmother of T Money and Mad Dog Maddie. Um Rick or Rick was they're, married they're once first, yeah. before me. <laughs> they were, they were my first kids. Watching from Missouri, has your family always been in the towing and recovery business? Thanks for watching from Missouri. Uh, yeah, on and off, you know. Um, yeah, my dad's stepdad was in it for since 1967 or earlier. Um, then my dad was in it. He was in it for a long time, and then he got out of it, got back in it, and and then got out of the heavy towing and and when I come along and started my own deal uh, he was out of the heavy towing um, so but yeah he's he's got experience with heavy towing he used to run a old 750 850 homes trucks that's what he used to have I think we're gonna try to get the OG Rick or Rick on here for one of these lives yeah. so do stay tuned for that so that you guys can ask him questions too um, have you guys ever been offloading in Western Colorado by Grand Junction? Me and you were just up there. Remember, we were hunting for trailers. Was that was that when we were hunting for the trailers? Mm, we drove through there. We drove through there yeah. to get. Um, but Grand Junction, we haul stuff out of off out of the reservation right there to Grand mm -hmm. Junction. Uh, we do Penske calls up to Grand Junction. Um. Hey, Wrecker Rick, where's the guy that posted on your notice of going live that said, who cares? Not here. <laughs> is, that, is that you? Are you the guy? No. <laughs> Bobby's not the guy. No. Oh, Bobby's the guy that commented. Uh, he's, he's on here. Don't um, let him fool you, folks. Jerry said it doesn't look like you're going to have Hellboy done for the games. You don't have much time left. What are you talking about? It's done, Jerry. <laughs> Thanks for the... Thanks for the... Yeah, thanks for the Support? vote of confidence, Jerry. Okay, there you go, vote of confidence. Jerry, I can take it up there like this and, and win, so it doesn't have to be fully done. Uh, Matthew said it's an 88 YJ 350 V8 that will be stuck in the San Juan, Colorado mountains. Oh, yeah. yeah I can. Well, hopefully, I, I, I'm, you know what? I'm confident that we can take care of that for you. Uh, we'll find a way. I'm sure it's pretty capable. But. Todd Matthews wants to know if we have tested Hellboy in the sand. The sand follow sand seems to get everybody stuck. It's not going to get me. You guys are going to be surprised. It's going to do really well in the sand. Ralph said no skid plate, so it's not done. <laughs> That's a minor stuff. Are the haters coming out of it? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> give me, give me a, you know, two hours, and I'll have a skid plate on. Skid plate's gonna be the very last, last portion. 
Uh, this morning, Matt's off road announced the days that everybody's pulling, and I guess we're pulling on the second day against Diesel Dave. Thanks, Terry. We haven't against watched Diesel Dave. Yeah, but that hasn't even been announced to us yet, so I'm glad Dang, that was. Dang, we're not even pulling against Matt's off road. I guess not. I, I don't know. Um, it hasn't been announced to us, so but I guess we'll have to go watch. I haven't Matt's checked video. my emails today. Yeah. Is everyone going? Who's everyone, Anthony? Like in in our crew? Um, everyone's going. Yeah. Everyone in our crew's going. Who's everyone? Crowbar will be there. Show him crowbar. Crowbar. <laughs> Give him a finger <laughs> bang, crowbar. Crowbar's gonna be there. Uh, and for those of you that don't know crowbar, crowbar was raised with me. He's like a brother. He's my cousin, but he grew up along with me. So um, my parents. You know, raised him somewhat. Bailey, most of his life. why are you? Is that TikTok? Yeah. Bailey, why are you on TikTok and not like on on YouTube? You like TikTok better? Is is that it? Uh, so, um, Crowbar's gonna be there. Uh, my wife, T Money, Mad Dog. Oh, and you bet I'm bringing my money gun. Um, You're gonna bring your money gun? Oh yes. We need it, like a sheet, a t-shirt gun. T Money will be shooting her money gun off at you I'll over shoot there. The t shirt gun. Uh, t shirt cannon. That'd be bad. Matt is going to be shooting Matt. We're bringing Dog. War Machine. <laughs> We're bringing Hellboy. We're bringing Black Betty. And I'm bringing my service truck, of course, because if something breaks, we want to be able to fix it. Um, what else are we bringing? Your truck. Oh, we're bringing a Cruise America RV on tracks. Yeah. You ever seen a Cruise America RV on tracks? <laughs> nope. I haven't. Uh, so, and the first or everything. No. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, De Niro's going, Heavy T's going, Hot Rod's going. Even though he doesn't have a g g g g g good b brain, but uh, what? That's how, what he said. How old are your girls? They, they we have five. How we have many? five girls. <laughs> so. We have 17. How old are you, T-Money? 15. Uh, 17. They asked me that at my job interview yesterday and how looked at them. <laughs> Did I was you like, wreck her ex-daughter? No, oh. how old I was. <laughs> I looked at them for like... Uh, Mad Dog's 15. We have an 8-year-old. We have an 8-year-old named Indy. A 3-year-old. 3-year-old named Wrecker Dayton. <laughs> and a 2-year-old. <laughs> and a uh, 2-year-old named Smoke. <laughs> and these are their God-given names, folks. I mean, these are their legal names. <laughs> Like, these aren't nicknames, you know. We really named her Team Money. I came out of the womb that way. It's on her, what can it's I on say? her birth certificate. <laughs> Same thing with Mad Dog. You know, Mad Dog's not short for anything. That's her name. Arizona Trail Junkie said, if y'all ever get down to the valley, lunch is on me. Oh, shoot. Dang, we might just have to come down to the valley for that. Today. When you had the big snowstorm, did you get paid towing everyone out with Black Betty? Um, no, so we towed the OG twice. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to charge my dad. Um, <laughs> Especially not twice, just the one. One, thing, one thing you guys are going to, that a lot of people, folks don't realize is, is in the towing industry, um, we get about five or six calls a day that cancel on us. So that happens all the time. So like yesterday, we had an off-road recovery canceled on us. And we'll get loaded up. Like we'll load Black Betty up on a trailer, take it up there. And that's why we charge a minimum. We charge a deposit. And um, a lot of people like to do that as a fail safe. And then they continue to try to get out. And then they get out. And then they get upset with us when we charge them uh, the deposits, non-refundable deposit. Because we had to load up. We have to drive however many miles sometimes. 50 to 100 miles even further so we charge a minimum of what it what it takes to get there and, and uh we're getting way off track yes we are uh james, Damn, from, this ADHD. james from missouri <laughs> while we're on track with black betty james from missouri would like to know what tune you have on black betty um secret yeah secret you can't know i tell you I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> I, saying, it's a, it's a custom it's a custom tune uh you know obviously uh compliant with uh DPA. Rooster. 
Rooster works for a tow company in Phoenix and would like to do a ride along with us. Is that possible? Absolutely. What towing company you work for, Rooster? But yeah, you anybody who wants to come do a ride along, you all are welcome anytime. I mean, obviously we gotta keep the, the head count down. Terry Can't to, have five guys show up here wanting to do a ride along at the same time. Terry to the Gremlin would like to know what some of your hobbies are when you have time. Uh, That's short and sweet. None. No Hellboy. Fabricating, mm -hmm. off-road recovery, heavy heavy recovery takes the top of the list. Uh, not hanging out with my family really. Playing I don't Call of Duty. I don't get to spa spend spend. <laughs> Playing uh, Call of Duty. Just, just dance. dance. <laughs> just dance. I like to play just dance. Uh, my free time. Uh, Babe, give us a spin of that hoodie. Yes, Steven, gang, you need to get style. you a hoodie. It's a uh, super heavyweight. Yes, model it. There you go. <laughs> the little hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. So, uh, it's got vents right here. That's what I really like about it is as soon as you start getting into the springtime, and you start wanting to shed your hoodie, at least it's got vents right here so they breathe on the sides i like that it's got a really heavy drawstring it's got little metal deals around it the head the hoodie itself is really the name hefty this the name speaks for itself folks it's murphy's diesel heavyweight sport tech hoodie it's, yeah it's not it's, a, it's not like a gildan hoodie so uh like the the cuffs right here you could stretch the shit out of them and they come right back um they're they're not like a gildan are you going to you fit know. a rear seat on Hellboy for Hot Rod? He really needs that nut shot. Uh, no, he's got one right on top of the cab above the KC's. <laughs> um, sorry for coming. We'll put a helmet on him. James says sorry for coming on late, uh, but what size axles are under Hellboy? Nine tons, Axle Tech 4000s. How come Hellboy is crooked? Uh, because I got one airbag aired all the way up in the back and one aired all the way down. Just, just playing with it, folks. Just playing with it. Your cousin Mandy said to say hi. What's up, Amanda? <laughs> Does Hellboy throw four rooster tails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't lock it into to to two wheel drive, so you can't you can't take the front out at all because it doesn't have any way to disengage the front axle. And plus, it's always got at least 28% running to the front axle. So, and the reason I opted for that is because the T600 is such a big transfer case. It's got 1650 yokes on it. They're basically semi-yokes, you know. Uh, J&T would like to know if he can tool, J&T Leather would like to know if he can tool Hellboy and Black Betty for you. I think he means like make like little leather, leather uh, cutouts. I'm like I don't know how to say that. Tool. Yes. Yes, you may. Absolutely. Um, um, Silverado Scott said yes. It he says that you're going to be going up against Diesel Dave, not them. Oh dang! What's up with that? God, I thought we stood a chance there for a minute. We still stand a chance. What are you talking about, babe? Well, I, I mean, this was built catered around Matt's off road truck. Not heavy D. <laughs> Not heavy D's. Heavy D's building a big old six wheel. Oh, we got a couple more weeks to throw Something, something right here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess, folks, uh, if anybody's got a lead on an extra nine ton steerable, <laughs> uh, send it my way so we can get a third axle under this sucker. It'll be a tag back there. It'll be like a concrete mixer, just a, it's got a strong arm on it. Comes down. Montana Well Digger said, Hey guys, glad you guys finally got some snow. We're short on snow up here. Montana Well Digger? Mm -hmm. That's gotta be really cold. <laughs> uh yeah, we're we're getting that way, Montana Well Digger. We're it's this is Arizona, it's all melted. Eric Winlow like says, Why was right your there. dad driving a Hemi and not a Cummins? Um So actually Fun fact about the OG, the OG was a Ford man uh, most, of his, most of his life. Yeah, um, <laughs> he ran all Fords. He's had all Fords for a long time. Uh, he had one Dodge in 1998, hated it, sold it to me, um, <laughs> and I loved it. And that was like, it was a 24 valve Cummins five speed. 
four wheel drive. I love that truck. Um, Casey asked, is your mom going? Yeah, yeah she'll be there. <laughs> so. Casey? She's on dinner. Casey? Yeah, your sister's watching. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Tell her I need to borrow her. She won't be at any of your events, though, because she doesn't care about you. Like, she cares about me, so. <laughs> uh, any chance you'd be looking to get another set of mat tracks? The you price is some? right. You got some? <laughs> I, that feels like you're offering me something. Is that mat tracks? No. <laughs> mat tracks? Are you offering me a deal? Uh, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? Uh, Rooster is with All City Towing, the one who asked if he can come up and do the ride along. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. So, uh, All City Towing, I knew a couple guys with All City Towing. I went to a Wreckmaster course one time with, with All City Towing guys. Is that new pogo stick jack strong enough to lift Hellboy? If so, where can I get one? John Duran. Uh, yeah. The, this, we need to like link the it Mojab store, right there. I think. So um, we'll be breaking out the Mojab here. I'm waiting for some mounts to come in to mount it to the headache rack. And we'll um, give you guys a closer up. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do a. I'll do a little video on it um, once we get it out of the box and try it out. Uh, it's we tried it at the the expo. It lifted it. So uh, Godfather of Texas is asking how's the weight challenge going. Uh, we lost. <laughs> Me and Hot Rod are getting tattoos. Um, I struggle with stress, folks, and I'm a stress eater, so. But uh, you did so good, baby. I lost are 60 pounds. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, but I'm still. 60 um, pounds and like I'm still about 40, 40 like, pounds yeah. away from 200. But, get some swagger um, do you mind or don't mind visitors at your shop if you're not busy? Uh, I don't mind visitors if we are busy. You just have to catch me with when we're here. Just don't blame um, us if Hellboy ain't ready for the off-road game. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm a bit of a talker, folks. So if you come in here to visit, like, you guys might be like, well, I got to go, Rick and Rick. And I'll be like, oh, hey, you know, and, and just talk to you about some other stuff. and. Uh, about the price of rice in China, you know, who knows? Michael wants to know. He's I got a couple questions here for you. He's got a CJ5 building it with a 4BT Cummins and NV4500 Trans. What axle should he run? Should it be Dana 60s? Can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> the CJ5 building it with uh, was it 4BT Cummins? 4 BT. Oh yeah. Okay. And then he's got a NV4500 transfer case. Or transmission says so that like the five speed. Yeah, five speed. And he wants to know if you should run Dana 60s on that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, we built a a Bronco one time years ago uh, with a 4BT and uh, MB 4500 uh, 205 transfer case and and 60s. I think we had a 205 203 doubler in it. I don't remember. Um, uh, I worked on it. I didn't build the whole. It wasn't my my rig. I just worked on it. But yeah, sixties for sure. Montana Well Digger said he's a zipper hoodie kind of guy, extra large, tall, so it covers his ass. Oh yeah. Which yeah, I bet that probably gets cold <laughs> if you're a well digger. You know. So, you're Montana shake. Well Diggers really got a cold asshole. So yeah, you're gonna want one of them zip up long hoodies there. I'm so sorry Walter. if the camera is shaking. I'm laughing too hard. Sam uh, says, "Hey guys, I'm a fan. Fan of you guys. Good luck next month at the games." Who's that? Samson. I'm oh, thanks, Samson. Why don't you come and give us some support up there, Samson? And Woody wants to know what your biggest challenge with Hellboy was. Uh, the biggest challenge with Hellboy was um, the stock frame. So uh, I wanted to keep. Hellboy really low, and and it's so wide. The truck itself, the truck body, and the chassis is so wide. And being able to, because uh, the drive shaft goes right down the center, so being able to keep it a low sense of gravity, center of gravity, and not crush the oil pan and crush all my drive components. That was a huge challenge. Um, I wanted the axle to sit out forward, so. It sits a little taller than I wanted, but we did build a custom frame, so I think to to fix that we would have to 
go to a dry sump oil pan and all kinds of other stuff. But that was probably the biggest challenge with Hellboy. Um, Adam said he hopes that you get the lug nuts tight on Hellboy. Haha, ha, love the black video. Um, well, the lug nuts on Hellboy are hub centric, so, and we hit them with a one, one inch gun, so don't really worry about those too often. Hub centric. But. Thanks for the support, Todd. Todd Evans from Australia said that you will kick and raise arse with Hellboy. Thanks, Todd. Arse. Um, Matthew said he didn't know Diesel Brothers were making another wrecker. I thought they were just going to bring the big green one. Nope, that's not the case. They're building one specifically for the... Yeah, no, I think they're building a Hummer. For this occasion. For the occasion. So that's kind of cool, though, that we're uh, challenging... Diesel Dave, so um, Heavy D. I don't think it's Diesel Dave, right? It's Heavy D, right? It's Heavy D. Yeah. Diesel, Diesel Dave's so his partner in crime. McGarren said they should have a tug of war. Well, get over there to Diesel Dave's channel, folks, and tell Diesel Dave we want to have a tug of war. So when it's all said and done, after the games, you know, meet us in the little lot. side bet. Meet <laughs> us in the parking lot. That's right. So. Um, is that Detroit barking in the background? No, he's probably barking at our house though. Yeah. He's a little barking something. No, we didn't. We didn't bring Detroit today. Detroit's been chewing the ever living dog shit out of stuff. So. Yes, he has. He's been a bad boy. Um, Casey said boy. her events are way cooler. You don't have any events, Casey. <laughs> so. Okay. Will the boys be sporting a new haircut at the game? If they're so cool, how come mom doesn't go to your events and she goes to mine? <laughs> Will the boys be sporting new haircuts at the games, Godfather of Texas asked? I highly doubt it. Uh, I think they'll probably quit before they got another <laughs> cul-de-sac cut. Um, I know Heavy T said that he would definitely quit. You might, I might as well fire him because he will not get a cold effect. Uh, Dan, if you are serious about those mat tracks, I keep seeing your comments, just shoot Rick an email. Rick yeah. at murphysdiesel.com. Murphy's with an S. Please tell me they're com. big mat tracks. Please tell me they're the size that Hellboy needs because I want a set of mat tracks for Hellboy. What's your favorite battery-powered tools brand? Milwaukee. Without a doubt. Any chance you'll be at the Off-Road Expo in Salt Lake in March? Mitch and the gang. There's one in Havasu. Are we talking know. about something that's different? Like we've, we're going, the to, the, we're Expo? going to the Off-Road Games. So uh, another thing about the Off-Road oh, Games, Expo. the Off-Road Games at San Hollow, we have a booth set up there. Hmm. So, you know that? No. Um, oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, Crowbar runs our booth for us, and he didn't even know we had a booth set up. Sorry, Crowbar. Um, we didn't know either until like three days ago. Yeah, so, uh, but we have a booth set up, so if y'all want some some swag, some merch, uh, come to our booth up there and get yourself some. We're going to have some cool stuff there. So. Uh, J&T Leather is asking yeah. if there's any events in Williams that we put on ourselves because him and his kids would love to watch us do our own record games. Um, you know what? I've I've been thinking about that. I think we're gonna wait till maybe like we get a little bit, our channel grows a little bigger and we get a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I've definitely thought about that. It's in the works. Uh, I think uh, someday we'll have something. I think that would be cool. Fab Rats for is the watching locals. and said, "What's up, Murphy's Diesel?" What's up, Fab Rats? Cameron Land said, "You will drag Dave." Might scratch a corner on that fab, Larry. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. I might not drag Dave, but I'm going to blow this thing up trying. <laughs> so is that counts for something, right? Because, you thousands know. Thousands of dollars? Uh, a lot more than thousands. Uh, I'll burn this thing <laughs> to the ground trying to beat Dave. So. Uh, what would it cost to build a bed like the one on Black Betty? I wish Black Betty was here. Black Betty's at our house right now because it blew a track. But. Um, probably with a side puller on it. You probably, I mean, without winches in it, you're probably looking at 3,500. What controls do you run on your rotators? 
Uh, the Omni controls, um, not the Raptor controls. I, I don't like the Raptors because there's so many things. I, my opinion is there's so many things to go wrong on the new wreckers. I didn't want one more issue with components going wrong, and there's so many components in the Raptor system. So I go with the old school. It's Om, Omni. Yeah, so, um, yeah, something like that. We can, we can double check that uh, later. I'm, um, I'm horrible at Which is heavier, so. the gray toolbox behind you or Hellboy? Uh, probably the gray toolbox. I'm just going <laughs> to... It's loaded with tools, so... Put this out there. Things. That's not my toolbox, folks. Uh, um, mine's back there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Have you... I mean, the thing's got freaking 10 ply tires on it, so... <laughs> Have you thought... <laughs> Highway rated tires on it, so I mean, it's got to be heavy, right? It's even got disc brakes, folks. <laughs> Not my toolbox. I mean, I guarantee it costs more than Hellboy. Have you thought about starting a drinking game like every time you say folks, everyone has to take a shot of their favorite poison? <sighs> do well, we, it. No, do don't, it, don't do it, no. What? No, don't do it, no. Sorry. We don't condone drinking. We don't condone I don't condone drinking, drinking folks. I'm not a drinker, so... Nope. Uh, you want to have a drink at Tobo Chico? That's you cool. can't, yeah. You can't, you can't own a 24-7 towing company. I mean, that's a fun idea. You know, maybe you guys can incorporate that into your, to your drinking. But, um, and I, I don't, I, I'm not, I don't judge folks for drinking. I'm yeah, just, I don't drink. Yeah, videos you can go back through and rewatch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Go watch all of our, folks, if you drink, go watch all of our videos and have yourself one on Wrecker Rick. And every time I say folks... Have a shot. I um, bet you don't make it past two videos. What you would like to know, if you did get your own record games, would you be open to smaller channels bringing in custom records? Absolutely. Yeah, we were, you know, we are a small channel, so. I'm pretty sure you're gonna I mean, see small channels too. I mean, yeah, we're smaller than I us. Think there's, I channels. think there's, I think there's, so uh, we were, um, we had a meeting the other day and so there's lots of folks in the record games that I've never even heard of or know, or which I mean, not saying that I know everybody, I don't know anybody, but um, I think there's gonna be a lot of small channels in the record games. Uh, we're a small channel, so I, I mean, I would definitely return the favor to another small channel to help them grow their channel. Do you wanna give a 50K shout out real quick? Talk about that. Uh, we hit 50K subs, folks. Uh, days ago. Two days ago, mm -hmm. yesterday, day Friday, day before yesterday. Friday night. Mm -hmm. Friday night, we hit 50k subs. Uh, we've gotten 300, 400 subs since then. Uh, we appreciate you all for being such loyal subs and um, interacting on our channel so much that it helps our videos. Yes, you know, so. anytime you like, um, watch our full videos and comment on the video, it helps our video. So. Uh, the more likes, more views we get, more comments, um, the the more our channel grows. So we're gonna start doing maybe something special. Maybe someday we'll start making too, some money up. You know, huh? Aren't we gonna start doing something special for comments? I don't. We haven't. So I think you know we get a lot of folks asking uh, for some free merch. Um, I'm not totally against just giving away merch for free, but uh, I think you folks need to earn it if we're gonna give you some some merch, right? So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to give you challenges. There's going to be a challenge. Uh, maybe the challenge will be count how many times I say folks in this video and the first person to comment, comment and with the right amount of, right, the right number of folks. And be a subscriber. And be a subscriber. Um, maybe we'll send you a hat and a... Like T-shirt. Maybe we'll send you a hoodie. Maybe we'll send you a keychain flashlight. You never know. Or a bottle opener keychain. You know, for all those Chico. drinkers out there. Yeah. Or if you need one to open your Topo Chico. Uh, once Hellboy is finished, what's your next build? Uh, probably that Jeep over there. Isn't that Jeep compared to Oh, 5500 welding ring. Um, so my 5500, since I've been working on it, it needs some attention bad. So... Been too busy with Hellboy. Um, yeah, been busy with Hellboy and Rex and uh, stuff like that. So I think we're going to get the 5500 in here. 
and build it and um, I don't know what we're gonna do with it um, might be one of those deals where you know we give you guys um, a truck <laughs> <laughs> you know maybe it's one of those deals maybe we'll give you guys the welding rig all right you know um, did you limit strap the airbags I know they're bolted together uh, but you never know Yes. <laughs> They're not on there yet, folks. But yeah. But we have. <laughs> I got my front limiting straps on. See how much travel Hellboy has? It's not even hitting the limiting strap yet. So, but uh, fronts are on. Uh, I gotta throw these on this week. So I'm thinking this week's gonna probably be the last week that we work on Hellboy. And then. This week we'll get it out and we're, we'll start hammering on it. And the following weeks leading up to the event are probably going to be stuff that we're changing and fixing. And um, if we break anything, we need to find the weak links, uh, stuff like that. Um, we we got rock lights on it. See right here, got my Casey highlights rock lights all throughout it. I gotta just figure out the headlight situation, and I gotta put these valves on for the bags. So I got my locker valves right here and uh, these are my transfer case valves to lock my transfer case in and then these right here are my valves for uh, my airbags. So two, ba two valves to air them up, two valves to air them down. I want them to go actuate fast so I'm putting them on valves and these will mount right there so I got that to do get the headlights working um, are you putting inner fenders on Hellboy yeah yeah it'll just be like a plastic liner um, nothing too crazy just to kind of protect everything so Brian said that you should sorry I gotta go uh, add some weight to the front of Hellboy and rig up War Machine to the back of Hellboy and show everyone who's the baddest wrecker in the fleet. That would be sick Hellboy towing War Machine. <laughs> that would be a lot of weight. I don't think it could handle it. Uh, we, I'm gonna, so that's one thing I'm going to do is when this is done, I'm going to sling a semi. But it's going to be a tractor, folks. It's going to be a road tractor. I, uh, War Machine weighs 87,000 pounds. Like, this is a light-duty wrecker. Let's not forget that, folks. Like, this is still a light duty wrecker. All these wreckers that's going to San Hollow, they are all light duty wreckers. So, I mean, that's got a 12 ton boom on it. Uh, these are for towing pickups and cars and Jeeps. And um, But I guarantee you I could hang a semi on this. But uh, we're going to. But. Uh, Paul said T Money could spank Heavy D in a tug of war, get the Gladiator down there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're right, Paul. <laughs> we're taking old Gladys, so. Because um. if, if, if you're right, Paul then I'm going to win because <laughs> I'd drag tea money all over this freaking place. What's that supposed to mean? Um, Mitch and the Would gang. Huh? No. Mitch no. and the gang said. Those guys are over. It's behind me. The, he's not talking about the games. There's actually an expo on March 1st and 2nd in Salt Lake City. We're not going to be there for that. Oh, one. yeah. I'd love Maybe to go to it. But, Maybe next um, year. Maybe next year. Yeah, I mean, uh, man, I have just got way too many irons in the fire to yeah um eric one love said after the games you guys should take hellboy to moab and go on some of the cool trails uh we we want to so we want to do like a little uh i don't know if it'll be before the games after the games or during right after the games <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to make our round so we want to do like a little tour um <laughs> we want to go up to sand hollow which we're going for the games but uh, I don't know if you all remember the sand shoot that um, Fab Rats like dominated in. Um, it's called the sand shoot, I believe. Uh, Matt's off road got the wrecker stuck at the you bottom. Some water bottles from under my and desk. under my desk. I think Fab Rats truck overheated, but they went up mm -hmm. it a couple times. I don't remember. But anyway, we want to go hit that, hit that, and then we want to go to. Uh, Sand Hollow, hit a few places around there, and then go to um, Moab, see how it does in Moab. 
Sorry for that. See if it's too big for the trails, like everybody says it is. So. Uh, Nikki, do you homeschool? I'm a homeschooling mama tooling from home. No, I'm I'm not in a position to be able to homeschool right now, unfortunately. Yeah, um, Nikki's. I want uh, to be one day. But. <laughs> yeah, Nikki's. She takes care of all of our office stuff. Uh, three locations: dispatching office. Uh, we've talked about it. We we badly want to homeschool. I was homeschooled. Um, for not the whole time. A week. Yeah. A week. It was longer than a week. Uh, I was homeschooled my first year. Of when you got kicked out of school. High school, huh? When you got kicked out of school. Whatever. <laughs> Jean, uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Jean Carr, um, Hellboy merch. We we badly want to get some Hellboy merch. Trust me, it's just having you know. Rick or Rick's got to really like the artwork. If you guys got ideas and you want to like, you know, do your own artwork and... Um, oh, there's a cap in there. <laughs> you want to do your own artwork, send it over to You're Rick or take the cap likes it, off before We haven't had it. any artwork that we can get him to really like and love to make of Hellboy. So. What, do you, what was that? What, um, what did Jean, you want to make? Jean Carr, she would like for us to have Hellboy merch, so... Um, oh yeah, we badly want. So my husband can get me some, please. So, um, when you go to the games, can you do a lot of videos for us supporters of your channel that have no chance of being there? Oh, Absolutely, yeah. we want to do like yeah. probably uh, a video each day. So every day that we're at the games, we'll probably do a video. Plus, uh, we got Rex Gear going to go with us. Rex Gear has got a rock buggy, rock crawler, and they have um, a YouTube channel. If they you have a YouTube channel if you want to check that out. We just did a collab with Rick here. Um, that video is going to come up uh, in the next three weeks. In the next three weeks, uh, it was pretty cool. We went and played in the snow. Uh, getting a rock rock buggy out in the snow was cool, and we're not going to tell you what we did to it to get it out in the snow, but um, you have to watch. We have another big collab too. Yeah, we have another collab that we did with uh, another YouTuber, big YouTuber. I'm not going to mention names. No. Woody says, what's That's your plan be for extra storage in Hellboy? Um, so, good question. So, right there where it says Murphy's Diesel, uh, I'm going to put two hooks right there, and I'm going to carry two kinetic ropes, and they're going to be on the boom right there. So, kinetic rope on each side. Two kinetic ropes is plenty for what we do. Uh, back here, right here, this is a storage compartment. So right here, in the tail end. Hold on, let me squeeze through. In the tail end right here, this is actually a storage compartment that we gotta finish putting the, the <laughs> that we gotta finish putting the floor in of it. And so rigging will hang out in there. We'll have our kinetic ropes in here. I'll probably put shackle holders right there on the side. My Mojab jack will go on the side. Uh, and then in the back, between, we're gonna put bucket seats right there and in between the seats. I'm gonna put a toolbox right there. And then this compartment right here also has a little storage. So there's just a battery in there and our controls. But, so that'll be some storage there. Uh, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. What's up with the off-road rollback? That thing needs some TLC, that's what's up. Bad. <laughs> uh, the off-road rollback, uh, I stopped working on it because we, uh, they invited us to the game, so. It needs a front drive shaft, and I, I wanna put some hubs on the front of that. Actually, I wanna take it out and I want to put an F550 front axle in it, Super 60. Um, but yeah, it's got a 205 transfer case in it, uh, divorce transfer case we put in there. It's running really good, we're using it. John Kramer, I hope I'm saying that right. Want to Probably build a bumper for the front of it, butchering winch bumper. your guys' name, I'm so sorry. Uh, why put all the travel in the suspension, then you have to put limit straps on, kind of a waste. The limiting straps are like the last two inches of your shocks, so the limiting straps are just for your shocks not to hit rock bottom, right? So 
That's why you have bump stops and limiting straps. So obviously you can see it's not a waste. I mean, look at the travel on the front of this thing. So my, my, my limiting straps hit like for the last inch and a half. So my shocks travel all the way out and then they hit the end of the limiting straps. The limiting straps stretch just a little bit and then it stops it from my shock hitting the end of its body, so. Uh, Wyatt Hooper said, I see a toe sling, that's what I like to see. Yeah, we're gonna run the factory toe sling that it came with. Um, I think they work pretty good for what we do. Uh, you have that option. I've seen guys use, you know, just slings, you know, and sling it, and then put a driver in there to run the brakes, but I guess if we're in like really bad areas, rocks and stuff like that. We don't have a lot of rock around here though. I mean, we do, but it's not like they have in Moab, Moab or Sand Hollow. So most of our stuff is mud, snow, some rock mixed with mud and snow. So. Mark said, can you put Michael on one of these lives? I would like to see how long he talks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we could definitely get Michael on here. Um, I actually thought about getting um, Chris Bootsloff here today, but I think um, he's busy. Ed said, like the Rat Pack rods. Oh, I don't know Am I missing something? I don't know. Um, Roger says, why do you prefer Ram slash Cummins over other trucks? Um, the only reason I prefer Ram over other trucks is because it's got a Cummins in it. Every one of our trucks, just about every in our fleet, all run Cummins. We're real familiar with Cummins. We like to work on Cummins. I like uh, straight diesels over V diesels. Um, that's, that's mainly why. And I wouldn't say I totally prefer it because I think my next rig, uh, my next welding rig is actually going to be a uh, 5500 Chevy. So. Can you lift Hellboy with your 30 ton and then lift your 30, 30 ton with War Machine? Oh yeah. Like do a pick. Yeah. Like, yeah, that'd be cool though. So we, we to have to high, weigh man. Hellboy for the games. So I got to get Hellboy out tomorrow and I'm going to use my rotator, uh, which was Thad, Thad at Bailey's idea. We were talking the other day and Thad was like, hey, why don't you use your rotator to weigh Hellboy? So. We're gonna get Hellboy out and pick Hellboy up tomorrow with War Machine and get a weight on it for the games, so. Was the other collab with Fab Rats? No. But that'd be cool. No, it wasn't with Fab Rats. You hear that, Fab Rats? The people want it, want a collab. <laughs> so, uh, no, it wasn't with Fab Rats. Um, it was actually, uh, you know what? It's coming out. It's, it's coming, folks. Very, very soon. Um, when you're at the games, are you willing to hang out with those of us who are going after the end of day's events from George? Are we willing to what? Hang out with your fan subscribers that are going after, after the events are finished for the day. Um, we do have a couple like obligations that yeah. we're being held to uh, by Mass Off Road and them. Um, yeah, so there's there's like uh, there's a little deal that I believe Mass Off Road is asking all attendees to go to after the games. Um, I think there's two nights that we have. Maybe it's that like we a meet and do. greet, yeah, uh, like and that. then uh, Thad from Bailey's is going to be going to the games, so we're we'll be probably hanging out with Thad. But yeah, if we if we got time, yeah, I'm totally down. Um, I mean, we can hang out at the games all day long. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna. That's what we're there for, folks. Yeah, is, so we're gonna have to. And if you want to go hang out, like you want to go have dinner or something or breakfast or any time, folks, we we you know. Um, we're always open to hang out. We're gonna be standing. So Hellboy has to be staged while the off road events are going on. As long as you're on. buying. <laughs> so Hellboy has to be staged while the off 
off-road events are going on. The off-road events are supposed to go on uh, the 14th and 15th from like 10 in the morning to like 2 p.m. And we have to have Hellboy sitting there. At 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. is when the actual wrecker pool event happens and takes place. But the whole day on the 14th and 15th, Hellboy's going to be sitting there all day. And we're going to be around and about as well. So you'll see us. Um, I'm, I'm sure you're going to run into us quite a lot if you're, if you're coming. Yeah, I mean, we're going for you guys. So, uh, you know, we'll be there all day. You guys can come and see Hellboy and, and visit. We'll be at the booth. We'll be walking around. Yeah, we'll we be, are going to have a vendor booth too. So, um, yeah. We'll be there all day. Catch so. us all everywhere. Um, That's why we're going for you all. So. Would you ever collaborate with Ron Pratt? I'll collaborate with anybody. I don't have anything against anybody. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if my us and Ron Pratt style would really work. I don't know. How confident but, are you that you can beat Matt? I guess I don't matter. We're not. We're not going up as against far Matt. As, yeah, we're going I mean, up against. Uh, as far as we know. Maybe after. Sparks. So. Uh, Maybe not in the company. Matt wants to have a little side bet, you know, in the parking lot afterwards. Yes, in the parking lot. Um, I'm really confident. Well, I guess it depends what we're doing. Like, but yeah, yeah, I'm really confident. The people on here want you to get in the truck. <laughs> oh yeah, they have been asking how you get up in there. Like, yeah. how does Rick Rick get in there? So. Um. The higher side's like this high. How are you going to get in it? The higher side? Yeah. Why would I need to get in the higher side? I'd just get in this side and crawl over. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, Matthew with Rick's Towing in Vermont said he just ordered some synthetic rope from Bailey's and he was looking for a promo code but didn't see one from us. Uh, no, Bailey's doesn't. So we just sell our stuff on our site. So Bailey's stuff... Um, uh, they don't do affiliate marketing, so... Uh, there's not going to be a promo code. Yeah, there's I mean, no promo code. You can just call them and say, hey, I watched Wrecker yeah. Rick's channel, and that's why I'm buying. They, they like yeah. to hear that. Yeah, they, yeah, Thad's a real personable guy, so... Um, and I, they pride themselves on, you know, being one-on-one -on -one with customers. So if you called them and said, hey, I bet you you could talk to Thad, and I bet you he would, you know, hook you up. But if you want... Uh, to help us out, just come to our our site and and buy it off of our site. But we only sell one rope. Yeah, on I was gonna say site. we don't have the synthetic. Uh, yeah, we just got the Rick Rick rope kit that Bailey's yeah. runs for us. Um, I have a couple people saying that you should do a live of the weigh-in on Hellboy. Um, I feel like we want to say that. Didn't we have a contest going? Didn't we, didn't we say we were going to have a contest yeah. going? The yeah. first 10 yeah. people that guessed close. To, what video was that? There was a video. No, no, no. You know what? We'll put a pin in that. We'll yeah. talk okay. about yeah. it. Yeah. That um, might be a decent idea. Uh, so, everybody wants to see me get in. Well, I, I, hold on. <laughs> he cheated. There's a step ladder. Yeah, there's a step stool. <laughs> well, they didn't say I couldn't use a step stool. <laughs> what if we want to see it without the step stool? In on this side? Yeah. This side is like <laughs> lifted up like that much higher than. So. They're saying that they would need a ladder. Huh? They're saying that they would need a ladder. Would Wrecker Rick need a ladder? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there, folks. <laughs> Why don't you air it down? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could do it. 
Nothing to it. <laughs> Here, do it one more time. Daddy's got to record it. <laughs> do it, do it huh? one more time. Do it one more time, Daddy's got to record it. No way. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> All right, T-Money. You folks want to see T-Money do it? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Well, I just had to crawl my fat ass Weird. up there, so. Oh, my gosh, don't say that. Yeah, for real. Yeah, but you're also like two foot shorter than your dad, so look at you being a badass. Woohoo! It's those gymnastics I took for three months when I was eight. Yeah, that made you limber for the rest of your life, huh? I know, I'm scared to get down. <laughs> oh my. I did it. Maddie, your turn. Your turn, Mad Dog. Oh, so you're using my technique. <laughs> uh, I have a couple people um, Not that bad. liking a comment that somebody just left. Uh, said, have you ever thought about having a weekend recovery event at your yard? <coughs> like rollovers and stuff that other recovery guys and gals can come to. Yeah. Like putting on like a training event for I've, you guys? I've, you know, uh... We actually have. We've talked about it. We've yeah. got wrecked crap in our yard. We talk about it all the time, uh, doing so stuff like that, busy. like heavy, like heavy recovery stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I mean, if there's if there's a lot of folks that would come to it, uh, that'd be interested. Uh, Shoot us an email. Shoot us an email. Let's get a head count, huh? Yeah. Why well, don't everybody who's interested email me at rick at murphysdiesel .com. Definitely and let's put need, something together. Definitely need motorized steps like a Ford has. We'll tear them off. <laughs> put some stirrups on Hellboy already. I want some stirrups. That's what they need. To, the the leather shop needs to make us. Hellboy you need stirrups. to tool us up some stirrups for Hellboy. Red so they leather. so the stirrups. The stirrups when you open the door. The stirrups can just fall down, right here, like that. And then when you get in the truck, you just reach down and flop them up in there. How cool would that be? Roll up to the roll up to the off-road games, truck comes pulling up, four four doors open, stirrups fall out. <laughs> Ed said that you looked like a showgirl with that high kick. Oh shoot. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Just That's what I said, Kim. E I said email level me, it Ed. out first. Let the email down, me. you know? It's the just dance. Rick it. MurphyDiesel.com. Um, what's the normal ride height of Hellboy? Uh, well, I can show you. I don't have a measurement for you. Uh, Mark said Hellboy needs climbers like an old cab over truck. Nikki is not climbing in that thing. You guys can request that as much as you want. That ain't happening. Oh, come on, babe. <laughs> You're literally taller than me. Be a me. team player. I'm the, I'm the one holding the camera. I'm connected oh, to the Oh, audio. my gosh. Don't even use that as an excuse. The rest of us are being live. I'll do it. I'll hold the camera. Davey, why do you keep asking that question over and over again? What question? Did you or do you smoke weed? Who? You. <laughs> no. No, why would I, dude, I own a 24-7 towing company. Like, no offense to those who do it. Like, there are medicinal reasons that yeah. are necessary and recreational reasons, but yeah. we don't partake. Never done a drag in my life. Crickets. <laughs> y'all can hey, stop saying Hey, hey, we all had them days, right? But, no. Uh, no, we don't do any, we don't partake in no marijuana or alcohol or... Uh, pretty much company wide too. I mean, there's only <laughs> Caleb. What? What? 
guy. <laughs> Except for that guy over there wasted on the job. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, folks. Um, no, most of most of us don't drink. I mean, like Michael, uh, Bootsloff, like uh, Colin. I think Colin drinks a little bit on his days off. I'm not sure, but most of my guys are don't drink at all. I mean, they their life is towing, so they're ready to go 24/7. Uh, myself, my wife, we don't drink, uh, don't smoke weed. We drink Topo Chico's. Did you order the engine for T-Money's Jeep yet? Oh, what? shoot. Mm. What about the lift kit for T-Money's Jeep yet? The Did they order kit? the engine? Yeah, I think they're talking about the, elephant. what was that, the demon? Elephant. The elephant. The elephant. Elephant, demon, whatever. Uh, I don't know. After I beat Dave Sparks, I'm going to ask him to hook me up with an engine for it. Maybe that'll be the bet. That'll be the side wager on uh, Hold on. I got somebody else saying, I heard that you guys are competing against Dave Sparks, Jackknife Motors, and Matt. Now I'm confused because I... Okay. Where are they? Is this I think we video? just have to quit hypothesizing here. You know, I think uh, we got to wait for the details to come out to us and then we'll tell you guys what we're doing. Well, why don't we just skip Jackknife Motors and Matt and go straight to Heavy D. <laughs> uh, bless me. <laughs> Excuse you. No, uh, I don't care who we're competing against. We're just we're just going for a good time, folks. Uh, you need a Murphy's Diesel flag for Hellboy. Well, we have one. We're just going to kick ass and have a good time and I'm not very good at having a good time so <laughs> well once we bust out that Just Dance 2024 we'll be having a good time yeah come by our booth folks we'll be just doing some dancing some gangnam style some just dancing out there you wanna show them your gangnam style no <laughs> or are they gonna have to wait for that they're gonna have to wait for that <laughs> they can see that in person <laughs> Uh, electric step rock sliders. Do they got those? I don't. Uh, I don't know. Brian said cracking idea. I have seen electric step rock sliders. I was thinking something like that, and um, but our own like home built setup. You know, uh, I don't know if we'll see them before the record game. So I'm thinking some some stirrups is what I'd like to see on there. So. Yeah. Some leather stirrups. Red leather stirrups. No red leather. I want no, some real leather? tooled leather. Just I want some badass tooled leather step. Oh, shoot. Man, y'all's names With are fringe? Uh, tail slap cash. <laughs> tail slap catfishing. Oh, asks, oh gosh, are you going to test game? Hellboy before the games? Yeah. We're, we're going to try. We're So uh, this week we're going to jam on Hellboy. Try to get Hellboy completely finished. Uh, it's pretty close. I mean, I got my mounts for my slings. It's ready. So... Got my, my winch on there. Got my side puller winch getting ready to go on. Um, got all of our... We just got to put some airbag valves on it and hook up a few lights. And What size soft shackle are you holding there? Uh, I think it's a 9-ton. Yes. 9-ton from are the Bailey's? Nine tons. Yeah, from Bailey's towing accessories. Nothing but the good nope. stuff. Nope, 6-ton. 6-ton, no. really? Yeah. 6-ton. Soft shackle from Bailey's. I guess Danero didn't want to keep him today. <laughs> Is he here? No. No, never showed up. Hmm. Uh, um, will you air down Hellboy's tires and bag, then drive out? Yes. Of course. Matthew said, just going to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and y'all are out of gum. That's right. <laughs> Fresh out of bubble gum. What does that mean? Um, Rick said, check out the Gladiator that Matt is giving away. It has step rock sliders. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Let me check that out, huh? Yeah, probably. Where are you going? Um, I was going to turn the air on and air these bags up so I could show everybody the right height. But I'm missing a fuse. Why are you all 
hating on his hat so much today. Ooh. Mm. Johnny said Rick needs to go back to the ball cap. That Stetson's not doing it for you. Bullshit. I've worn a Stetson almost my whole life, bro. Yeah, bro. It's a way of life. Has, it's not a hat. You're has everything been fully welded on, Hellboy? Not doing it for me. <laughs> has everything been fully welded on, Hellboy? No. How much how much has it cost to make Hellboy? Um, we have no idea. Too much. 198,000. There you go. Put it in that As of right now. God, Are you it? going to put air horns on Hellboy to announce your arrival at the games? Oh, if shit. I get enough time, I will put air horns on Hellboy. Uh, but right Are you now, going to put the stiff legs on the back of Hellboy before the games? No. No, stiff legs ain't gonna make it before the games. I don't think. I mean, I'll let you know after this coming week. So, problem is, is if if I got to work on Hellboy every day from here until the games, I would say yes to all that. But the problem is, is uh, Monday morning, tomorrow morning, we'll roll around, and I'll walk in here, work on Hellboy for five minutes, and then. I'll have to go have a meeting with one of one of my guys that ain't doing his job, and then I'll have to after that I'll have to um, come back in here work on Hellboy something. I'll get an email, get a call to do something else. I'll have to go do that, and then I'll get a recovery on the highway. I'll have to go do that. I'll get a you know um, you know it's it's a never ending. Did that blue wire be, wind up being the issue with Hellboy? No, uh, uh, not yet. I mean, it's still got a lot of issues. So, but right now, um, I believe we got the limp mode issue fixed in the tranny, and um, we're putting a new body control module in it on Monday. We got the software to flash our body control module to program it. We're going to be putting that in on Monday, and that should fix all of our issues. If we have any more issues, then I will definitely be checking the blue wire. Were the welds checked on Black Betty? Hot Rod wasn't sure if it had fully welded or still tacked. Uh, yeah, yeah, they <laughs> we've x-rayed them since. So. <coughs> What's in the box that says Roller Fairlead? A piece of shit Roller Fairlead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, piece of crap Roller Fairlead, folks. Thank you. Uh, let's keep it G-rated. Sorry. We are live. We can't bleep this out. Man, you know what? You folks have changed me. Uh, I used to be a very vulgar man. But thanks to you folks, um, I keep it PG most of the time now. Um, on average, how many call outs do you do a week, including the other two depots you have? Uh, like just record Rick going out, or like in general, Peter? Let me know. I'll, I'll look for your comment on that. Johnny problem looks like a worm under a collared leaf and a Stetson. What? <laughs> the guy that said he didn't like your hat, now they're, they're all bashing him. Sorry. Oh. Tell them that they're just jealous. Um, You're just jealous. Josh said that definitely check out that wire. It's a very common issue for the PCM. Will do. Does Rick, Rick only do emails? How do you want to get into contact about stirrups if serious? Email. Who's that? J and T Leather that asked. J and T Leather. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll hit J and T Leather up. Has J and T um, Leather got a way to hit them up, or do we just Google J and T Leather? I don't know. Uh, Where's JNT Leather? At? Oh wait, no. Uh, you hit us up on social media because I'm the one that saw whenever you tooled the semi. I'm the one that saw that. So whichever social media that was, hit us up on it. Just don't get mad at me if it takes me a little while to to get to it. Um. Chuck how? Elliott. Oh, go ahead. Chuck Elliott. I got back into the towing world because of watching your videos. Definitely a fun and interesting world. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. How does Hellboy build air? Um, it's got uh, twin wires on it. Uh, let me see that camera. Let me give you a little shot here. To it, so don't. 
Oh. Get crazy. Go crawl under the truck, babe. Okay. Where do you want me to go? Just lay on your back. No. <laughs> get down. No. Yeah, get down. No. Get down on your back. <laughs> no. Get I, I don't have to get. I don't she have to. I know. That's I can why I squeeze. <laughs> All, right. All right. Where am I going? They're right up under here. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's no way. Here, let let me see I would one. literally Just have to lay on my back. No, go. I got it. I got it. I got They're it. right there, folks. Tell they, me you can see them. They can hear you. They can see it. They're right there, folks. Because they don't want me getting on. Oily and greasy. We just don't like that. <laughs> buy airs and they go to this air tank right there. And those are my sensors on it. This is the cutoff sensor. I'm not going to tell you who makes that because I don't want you to buy stuff from them. I'm just kidding. It's a horn blaster. Um, so horn blaster, valve, uh, sensors, I think all the sensors, gauges are all horn blaster. Is hot rod related to you? Yes. <laughs> He's my dad. Uh, don't you just love the rev limiters? Not. Yes. Uh, no, hot rod's not related to me. He just... He just works here. I got a 15 power stroke with 37s getting 11 miles per gallon. What do you recommend tuning for efficiency? Uh, <laughs> you can't. No. Go ahead and email me. <laughs> Rick at Murphy's Diesel. Rick at Murphy's Diesel. <laughs> um. All things considered, you running a full-time towing business, you have built Hellboy pretty damn fast. I agree, Kyle Cat. Thanks, Kyle Cat. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't understand that. You know, I mean, when you're running a heavy towing company, three locations, uh, we got a lot of wreckers running, and three diesel repair shops, um, and with the the help, as hard as it is to find what? employees nowadays. So, uh, yeah, we've done. I think we've done a pretty good job at uh, same thing with hot rod hot rod does all kind of, he does axle surgeon for me uh, he runs a camera for me on recoveries he helps with recoveries I mean he's he's the man he does everything and plus on top of it he has to build Hellboy with me and plus go to these off-road expos and do all this stuff so uh, for both of us to get it done it's it's been pretty good feat so Liam, have you ever thought about putting a fast, fast fuel system on? Is there a step stool where I can get up there? You don't Go need ahead. to get up there. Let me, right oh, I can see right here? Okay. Liam, this truck has fast on it. Fast? Is it fast or fast? Fast. Fast. It's fast. Fast. I don't think you want to say fast. Fast. It's fast. That's just the filters. That's just Show the filters. The really where? Just turn your camera. What do you mean? Really. There you go. Like right here? Yep. Okay. I see it. There you go. Can you all see that? Okay. <clears throat> all right. So that answer that question, huh? Um, We're going to shut Facebook down here in a sec because I've got about 14% left. Matthew thought Hot Rod was your adopted son. That's how we're related. Me and Hot Rod are the same age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long have you been growing your beard? Mm, I think it was like six, six months. seven months. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I can't not laugh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Put I a, shave it once a year, folks. Put it's, a train horn on Hellboy. I want to. I want to put a train horn on here, but I'm getting it. I'm running short on space, folks, to put that stuff. Place, Panama. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's what we're gonna have the wakeboarding boat speakers for yeah. on the tower. <laughs> um, how much? Boat how much does Hellboy yeah. weigh now that he's piled on all that muscle? We're gonna find out tomorrow. Well, so a lot of I don't think we've piled on that much muscle. So uh, because we have taken a ton of stuff off, right? so we 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 have taken off the bedsides, the big bulky bedsides, toolboxes. We cut 
you know, 14 inches off of the back of it, maybe more, maybe I think like 24 inches off the back of it. We took the wheel lift off of it. Um, what else did we pull out of it? Um, or something else. Uh, I don't know. We've, we've pulled a lot of weight off of it. So we've added, but we've also pulled a lot of weight off of it. Uh, so I don't think we're going to gain that much, honestly. I think we might gain like 1,000 pounds. Um, I think we're going to be around 1,400 pounds. Godfather of Texas wants to know if 14 years oil field and miscellaneous work 24-7 on call would be a plus in a resume sent to you. Email Rick at Murphy's Diesel. Yeah, email Rick at, at Murphy's Diesel. Um, Gorman wants to know what's the best course of, course of action if you do scratch a corner on a bad Larry. <laughs> don't, don't scratch the corner. Don't look back. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just the corner. You got three more. Just hammer down. Is there a Vegas line on Hellboy winning at all? <laughs> Is there side bets going? I don't know. Probably somewhere. I don't. We don't have any. No, we don't have any. Yet. I mean, we. we I can't you, find anybody around here that'll bet against me. Are you going to have the nitrous ready for the games? Yes. <laughs> Rick has had a beard since it, he was eight. So, so the nitrous. We're not trying it until the games, folks. So, <laughs> I'm scared to try it before the games because I'm going to blow my engine up before the games and then have to scramble around and, and put another engine in it. So um, when you see us at the games hitting that nitrous button, that's going to be the first time. I'm pretty sure Chuck Norris sponsors Rick's beard, so don't ask questions about it. Probably. Who is ahead with the weight bet? Michael, they both lost. I'm ahead though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, if there was a second place, I would, I would be, I would, t well, yeah. Cause Rick won first place. I won second, not round third place. So. How come your daughter didn't take her Jeep after the oil change? Oh, that's not her Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> this thing sitting up on Jack. This, no. Yeah, this is this was kind of like one of those. This isn't really anybody's Jeep. Um, it's just it's Murphy's diesel Jeep. Um, so this Jeep belonged to my mom, and is a Rubicon. She had it, and then it belonged to I believe my sister, and then it belonged to one of my nephews, and it belonged. So it's been passed around. Um, and then the front pinion sheared the front pinion off of it so we brought it in here and started looking into parts to put a pinion in it and i told my dad what it was going to cost him to have a pinion put in it just in parts and he was like the hell with that and, and then he said if i could get five thousand dollars out of this <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to I'm used to opening it for the kids. You know, you break it loose a little bit. So, if I could get five thousand bucks out of it, I'd take it. And I said, well, um, I'm not really a Jeep guy, but why not? So, Is mixer truck tray gonna be at the games. So that's how we got this. Uh, yeah, mixer truck tray was not gonna go, but last night he told me he's going. Oh, he's I the only the uh, T money convinced him to go. He's the only one that the other one with the CDL that's going. So I really need him to go because we're taking two semis up there. We're taking War Machine and Phantom 309. How long has Murphy's Diesel been in business, and how many trucks do you have total in your fleet? 2014, and I think we got 36 in our fleet. What's the difference between a bad Larry and a bad Jackson? Nothing. Same, same deal. Same guy. Go all out and get a barrel of that tractor pulling fuel. Take it to the limit. Don't be scared. I'm not scared. I'm just scared of blowing it up before the event and having to scramble around. And I'd have to. I'll tell you what I'd end up doing is I'd call up Industrial Injection and drop freaking twenty grand on a new engine. So. Mm. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> no. 
Yes? No? Yes. Yeah, I oh. would. Okay. That's exactly what I'd do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. After, uh, after or, coffee. or I could just pull one of the six sevens out of the mini box trucks we got out back. That's a good idea. Uh, where did the bad Larry come from? Um, a slummy part of uh, Prescott Whiskey Row. Tell Slap Catfishing said 20k ain't that much. Sounds like maybe for you. Yeah. <laughs> God. It wasn't that much the year before last, but last, this year it's quite a bit. So. John Wayne could kick Bad Larry's ass. Is there going to be a video? Bad Larry <laughs> is John Wayne. Is there going to be a video on last week's pile up on the 40? Yes, Craig, this this coming Saturday. Stay tuned for that. Which one is worse, a Cascadia? Oh, sorry, hold on, let me read this right. Which one is worse, a Cascading or a Volvo? Uh, I would say a Volvo for sure. Uh, well, the only thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was I, Craig. I was in that pile up too. I was at the very front of it with the first guy who lost. Well, no, hold on, because there was two separate pile ups. Yeah. I think it, well, you were it's in all the kind one of one back. pile up. Yeah. It all happened from one guy. So there was a guy sitting in the road right here on our exit. I he was, was in the hammer lane. Guy. He was in the hammer lane, and it was foggy and snowy, and we got called to go get him out of the highway. Well, before we could get there to get him out of the highway, he caused a wreck. Because there was a uh, another truck was, behind him yeah. in the hammer lane, which was, was in right in front of mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Wrecker Rick. He oh. hit the median, went off of the median. Mrs. Wrecker Rick <laughs> went off of the median to dodge that guy, and then two more semis come behind her, and she had to dodge them and keep going, and they smashed into the other truck. So, yeah, or they smashed into each other, and then you got back on the road and got I out did. Of there. Yeah, I was. I hopped up out of the median and kept driving because I did not want to get squished. Yeah. Yeah, we had three, two fatalities, just uh, the, the pile up before that. The pile up before the that. The snowstorm so. before that, yeah. Um, yeah. Where's Rowdy? Probably face down in a gutter somewhere with a... <laughs> needle for company and a cigarette for good times somebody said brady and mule tape halter if anyone needs boat ropes i make those too oh jnt leather oh uh, uh, i braid uh, mule rope halters too but i, mean, I don't we need a new rowdy video myself. keep up the great work thanks and cheers from goodyear arizona mark well it's kind of tough getting a hold of them yeah you never know. The wind just blows rowdy around. So, Liam, where are you located? Northern Arizona, Ashport, Flagstaff, and Holbrook. How many Topo Chicos have you had today? Oh, I thought you were asking Liam where he's located. <laughs> no, Liam's asking. You said Liam, where, where, where are you located? located. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm uh, saying I'm trying to say their name. Hi, Grady from Tennessee. That's where I'm from. How many Topo Chico's have you had today? Two. Is that your second? Yes. Uh, Brian, uh, yeah, I get that because Rick or Rick, my husband, is a professional driver. That's why I know how to drive. Blammo. What's the weather looking like there? Sunny. Sunny and 75. In Ashford. So, um, where we were at with Black Betty the other day, which is 20 miles up the road, Williams, that's where we all live. Um, that's where all the snow's at. So, Ash Fork is just at the bottom of the mountain. So, we're just out of the snow. We're at 5,000 feet elevation here, and then Williams is 6,000, 7,000 feet elevation. So. Liquid Death or Tobo Chico? Definitely Tobo Chico. Uh, I disagree with that. I like Liquid Death. You do? Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of Liquid Death. Uh, I'm not. I do. I love it. Uh, I don't like their lime Liquid Death, but I like their the is it the black can? It's just the it's just the carbonated water. I like that one. I don't like their the lime has sugar in it. I and I I'm not big on sugar. So. What is the name of the Baby Blue semi in the propane truck recovery? Are they talking about Old Blue Rowdy truck? Baby Blue. 
semi. Semi. In the that's old blue. Truck. That's the only yeah. like baby blue truck we have. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would be that'd be Rowdy Wheelers 359 Pete. Old blue. Wild color. Yeah. Wild. And Wild. it's a 359. I don't care what anybody says. It's not 379. <laughs> it's 359. And it does not have a 379 hood on it. So last but, year. Fun fact. Yeah, go ahead. I was so last fact. year that they made the 359, and it has some accents that the 379 has. Because they started making 379s the same year that they started yeah. the 359. Mm-hmm. So they like merged those two yeah. looks to kind of together. Yeah. If, you, if you do a little bit of research, you'll find so out. So a lot of folks argue with me that that's a 379, and it's not. It's a 359. And then, they, and then they go, well, then it has a 379 hood on it because of the, the hucks, the placement of the hucks, and mm-hmm. it doesn't. It's a 359. Kelly Higgins, love your videos. Is Hellboy out of limp mode? Mm-hmm. Hellboy's out of limp mode. Um, well, knock on wood for right now. So, but we haven't driven it very much. So it's a bad turbine sensor. Brand new sensor. And it was bad out of the box, so. Uh, Stacy said the 359 has a vet dash. That's how you tell the difference. That's not the only way you tell the difference. There's lots of different. I'm not gonna get into it, but uh, it, but it does have a vet dash. Yes. Um, Blackbeard asks, where do you guys get your welding consumables in Ashwork? We gotta drive forever. Um. So. Or have it shipped. Phoenix Welding Supply. We get them there. And then we also get them at Absolute in Chino Valley. Um, there's a guy down there that's got a little welding supply shop, Absolute. And, um, <laughs> mm, kind of wherever, because we have, so that's the problem with getting supplies like from one vendor. I like to use one, one person, because that's how I am, as long as they treat us well. But the problem is, is we live out here, so we kind of, sometimes we order stuff online, sometimes we pick it up and I've even used Ace Hardware to get wire, so I mean, uh, welding rod, uh, we, we use Excalibur, um, so we usually order that. Todd asked, did you get, did you do that program with the rolled over Freightliner that was in the yard when I was there in September? That truck was rolled over that long. Yeah, we just did that truck up two days ago, January, three days ago. Uh, For six months, that thing laid on its side? Yeah, we got it up. So we loaded that truck up with tires, and then the whole top was exposed. So then it snowed and rained on the tires and filled all the tires with water. And we stood that up, and it was so heavy that after we got it on its wheels, the floor buckled and it fell on the ground. Well, it's upright. It's back in the yard. But that goes to tell you, we rolled a truck over. I'll bet you it had 60,000 pounds in the box. And we rolled it over completely loaded. And uh, and as soon as we got it on its wheels, the whole bottom of it just buckled and fell. I didn't film it. I should have filmed it. But We were busy. Yeah. We, we were, were in a hurry. We the guys were out there most of the day. And I was working on Hellboy. And... All right. Well... Uh, we're going to be wrapping this up here in about five minutes. So if you guys got some questions, go ahead and drop them real quick in the comments. Got any questions for Mad Dog? Yeah, Mad Dog. Team Money's here too. So is Crowbar. Crowbar. <laughs> There's several of us here if you need to ask anybody a specific question. Um, do you have to do your drivers? Do you have to do your drivers? To Phoenix for CDL testing. Oh, do you have to send your drivers to Phoenix for CDL testing? No. No, we we send them to Flagstaff. There's a Phoenix truck. Phoenix driving truck school. driving school has a little hub there in Flagstaff, and we send all our drivers over there. And uh, we send a lot of drivers over there, and they do not give us any types of breaks. So. <laughs> Are you hoping somebody's watching from there? No. Yeah. yeah, actually I was. Cause, <laughs> mm. uh, um, God, and you know what's crazy is they don't even use us for towing. God, we, God bless you and thank you. Let's get that snow day going. God bless you. Let's do it. Uh, what will Mad Dog drive? Oh, shoot. Mad um, Dog, where are you going to drive? Chevy Lumina. Chevy Lumina. <laughs> the van. The van. What about Dodge Caravan? Oh, yeah. She's a Chevy Lumina type girl. 
<laughs> uh, do the girls like cowhide purses? Of course. Sure. <laughs> Is there something wrong with Crowbar? I noticed he doesn't have a beard. I don't need one. <laughs> Crowbar is a Mexican, folks. He can't have <laughs> a beard. Oh my god. What? What? So are you. I could say I know. He's about as Mexican I could say it. You. <laughs> I know. I could say it. I'm Mexican too. Just pointing it out there. <laughs> Davey, I'm not climbing into Hellboy. Sorry. Y'all are going to have to see that on another time. You're being a sore loser. I'm not being a sore. How does that make me a loser? I'm, everybody's a winner here. Are you uh, sure? Not you. Uh, I'm down to one on Facebook. All right. I'm going to wrap Facebook up. Take care, Facebook. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Stay classy. How about those Dixie horns on Hellboy? I'm game. Let's do it. Send me some Dixie horns, folks. I'll slap them on there. Mad Dog, are you going to drive War Machine? What's War Machine? <laughs> 75 ton rotator? Are you those rotator? No, you're you not. Going to I said, I she can't even back out yeah. of the driveway yet. Well, we got about three. Sorry, we have about two minutes left, folks. Two minutes, and we're going to shut Two minutes, down. folks. Will Hellboy still have a sling? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show him the sling. Hellboy will have ground. a sling. So the sling, there. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tay Tay. So the sling, this is the sling right here on the ground, and it mounts right here in this bracket. Boo. It's only tacked on there. So the mounts there that's got three different locations for heights that it can go to. So Wicked. Hellboy will in fact have a sling. Wicked. We have off-road wreckers in Canada, but not this epic. I've seen some pretty cool off-road wreckers in Canada, I'll tell you that. We should go to Canada. We should go to Canada. Uh, Steve said he would like to come dry for you. Does he have to grow a beard? Uh, not if you're good. At least a mustache. Yeah, at least a mustache. <laughs> all right, well, about 30 seconds. Thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure that you hit the like button, drop us a comment, catch you on the flip side. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, subscribers. You guys, keep Don't it real. Don't forget, we got Stay the off-road games coming up. Off-road games. March 14th through the 16th. 14th through the 16th, that's right. Yeah. So. And if y'all like that sweatshirt that Record Rick's wearing, we sell them on our website. Just saying, along with some others. You know? Uh, if you guys like these cowboy hats, we sell these on our website. So get in there and get yourself <laughs> one. Authentic Wrecker Rick cowboy hat. All right, give them a nice little. Stay classy, YouTube. Tay Tay, you wanna say goodbye? Say goodbye, Dad. Stay classy, folks. Merch, TikTok. merch, 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 merch. Buy you some merch. merch. Buy you Stay. some merch. Merch, merch. No. Stay classy, <laughs> TikTok. Taylor. What do you want me to say? To YouTube. Tell oh, YouTube, that's bye. what you mean. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Bye, guys. See you later. Care, Mad, Mad Dog. Dog. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining us on the live this week, Mad Dog. You're huh? welcome. Yeah. What about you, Crowbar? Yeah. Thanks for being here. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. <laughs> Crowbar's not happy about working on a Sunday. And we're ending this live. Say goodbye, Rick or Rick. Goodbye, Rick. Goodbye, Rucker. <laughs>